this is Roman. Welcome to another episode of the 10,000 Trade Show, where we are mastering trading and creating excellence through the deliberate practice and analysis of 10,000 trades. Today, we'll take a look at how to use volume when trading Forex. Usually, we don't talk about volume in regards to Forex. We talk about volume in regards to future and trading stocks. However, volume can play a very important role when trading Forex as well, especially when you combine it with price action. So let's go on to the charts and we'll take a look at how to effectively use volume in your Forex trading, how to look for trades using volume, where to enter the trade, where to place your stop loss, and as always, how to exit the trade with a profit. In this video, we'll take a look at how to use volume to trade Forex. This is EuroCAD one hour chart. I generally use volume as a confirmation together with the price action. I generally don't use it on a standalone basis because as you may know, in Forex, we don't get true volume. However, when you have a volume indicator like this one that I'm using here, uh, they use algorithms in the back end to create or simulate the true transactional volume. So in this case, what I look for here is first is price action. So I'm looking for price action to show me what the market is likely to do. As we can see here, price is coming down. It comes into a support level here, and then price starts to bounce off of this level. So we get into our support level. We get a nice uh, bullish pin bar here. Price comes and tests the same level again. We have another pin bar. And then we have a bullish engulfing candle close. So this is an hourly chart and price has not broken this level in several hours. And we are starting to get our bullish candlesticks here. So that shows us that price is likely to move higher now. So that's the first thing we look at price action. Then we layer volume on top of that. So if we go down and start looking at our candles here. See, as the price is coming down here, we have all this red volume in the bottom here. So we have red volume. And when price comes into our support level here, volume decreases here. And then as the candles turn here, the first green candle, the volume is neutral because we see this white line here and then it starts to turn. So our bullish pin bar here actually has green volume. And um, as we see here, our bullish engulfing candle close, this one that we are interested in here actually has green volume as well. So we've gone from red volume into green volume now. So we have price action and then we also have volume to support our decision. So combination of that gives us a high probability trade here. So once this bullish candle closes here, we can take an entry at the close of this candle. We'll confirm our volume is green and our stop will go at the bottom here below these pins, just in case price wants to come and test this level once again. So we enter the trade long here and we stay with the trade as price is moving higher and we see that um, price is going higher, comes into the next support and resistance area here. And then we start to see large red candles. If you notice here, we don't have very many large red candles. We have two tiny candles here that are not very meaningful. And once we get into the next support and resistance area, which is coming all the way from here, we start to see red candles. And now this is our bearish engulf candle here that um, from price action perspective is where I would like to exit the trade. And if we were to take a look at our volume here, we see that that's the first candle where our volume actually turns uh, turns red from green. So now um, after this, our volume would start to turn red here and it's kind of mixed here, but we don't know what happens after this. So at this point, as we come into the resistance level, we have a bearish and engulfing candle close and our volume shows red, this is a good place for us to exit the trade. So from entry to exit here, we get 102 pips in the trade. So just to recap, I use volume as a confirmation tool with my price action. So first thing I look for is my price action. So in this case, we have price coming down, comes into a support level and starts to bounce off. We have a bullish pin bar here. We have a nice bullish engulfing candle close. And then if you layer volume on top of that, 
we see that as price turns here, we also see green volume starting to come in. So you could even take a trade at the close of this first bullish pin bar, or you can take a trade at the close of this bullish engulfing candle close. Either one is fine because our green volume has come in at this point. So we know that buyers have stepped into the market. So this is a good place for us to enter the trade. So we enter the trade long, our stop would go below the pins here. And we stay with the trade for as long as price is moving higher here. We see there's a lot of momentum in the trade and it dies down here, but our candles are not really showing us that price is turning. So price action is not showing a turn. We come into our next resistance level and then we start to see big bearish candle closes here. So after this bearish engulfing candle close, we exit our trade right at the close of this candle here. And we also see that our volume starts to change here as well. So this this is a good time for us to exit the trade. From entry to exit here, we have 102 pips in this trade. So our profit is 102 pips or $1,020 if trading one standard lot. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy this trade setup. If you like this video, please comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. That's it for today. I will see you next time.